Here beginneth the second verse of the twenty-second chapter of the first book of Chronicles. David commanded to gather together the strangers that were in the land of Israel, and he set masons to hew wrought stones to build the house of God. And David prepared iron in abundance for the nails for the doors of the gates and for the joinings, and brass in abundance without weight. Also cedar trees in abundance, for the Zidonians and they of Tyre brought much cedar wood to David. And David said, Solomon, my son, is young and tender, and the house that is to be builded for the Lord must be exceeding magnificent, of fame and of glory throughout all countries. I will therefore now make preparation for it. So David prepared abundantly before his death. Then he called for Solomon his son and charged him to build an house for the Lord God of Israel. And David said to Solomon, My son, as for me, it was in my mind to build an house unto the name of the Lord my God. But the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Thou hast shed blood abundantly, and hast made great wars. Thou shalt not build an house unto my name, because thou hast shed much blood upon the earth in my sight. Behold, a son shall be born to thee, who shall be a man of rest. I will give him rest from all his enemies round about, for his name shall be Solomon, and I will give peace and quietness unto Israel in his days. He shall build an house for my name, and he shall be my son, and I will be his father. And I will establish the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. Now, my son, the Lord be with thee, and prosper thou, and build the house of the Lord thy God, as he hath said of thee. Only the Lord give thee wisdom and understanding, and give thee charge concerning Israel, that thou mayest keep the Lord of the Lord thy God. Then shalt thou prosper, if thou takest heed to fulfill the statutes and judgments which the Lord charged Moses with concerning Israel. Be strong and of good courage, dread not, nor be dismayed. Now, behold, in my trouble I have prepared for the house of the Lord an hundred thousand talents of gold, and a thousand thousand talents of silver, and of brass and of iron without weight, for it is in abundance. Timber also and stone have I prepared, and thou mayest add thereto. Moreover, there are workmen with thee in abundance, hewers and workers of stone and timber, and all manner of cunning men for every manner of work. Of the gold, the silver, and the brass, and the iron, there is no number. Arise therefore, and be doing, and the Lord be with thee. David also commanded all the princes of Israel to help Solomon his son, saying, Is not the Lord your God with you? And hath he not given you rest on every side? For he hath given the inhabitants of the land into mine hand, and the land is subdued before the Lord and before his people. Now set your heart and your soul to seek the Lord your God. Arise therefore, and build ye the sanctuary of the Lord your God, to bring the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and the holy vessels of God, into the house that is to be built to the name of the Lord. Here endeth the first lesson.
shall begin at the 42nd verse of the 15th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Mark. And now when the even was come, because it was the preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, an honorable counselor, which also waited for the kingdom of God, came and went in boldly unto Pilate and craved the body of Jesus. And Pilate marveled if he were already dead. And calling unto him the centurion, he asked him whether he had been any while dead. And when he knew it of the centurion, he gave the body to Joseph. And he bought fine linen and took him down and wrapped him in the linen and laid him in a sepulchre which was hewn out of a rock and rolled a stone unto the door of the sepulchre. And Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joses beheld where he was laid. And when the Sabbath was past, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome had bought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulchre at the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. And he saith unto them, Be not affrighted, ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen, he is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him, as he said unto you. And they went out quickly and fled from the sepulchre, for they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. Here endeth the second lesson.
this night for the love of thy only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The opening words of the anthem are Never weather beaten sail, more willing bent to shore. and the royal family. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, we humbly beseech thee to bless our gracious Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth the Queen Mother, Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Charles, Prince of Wales, and all the royal family. Endure them with thy Holy Spirit, enrich them with thy heavenly grace, prosper them with all happiness, and bring them to thine everlasting kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. In our prayer for the church, we pray today for the Diocese of Masasi in East Africa 
and in the Diocese of London for the parishes of St. Mary Magdalene Paddington and St. Matthew Bayswater. Almighty and everlasting God, who alone worketh great marvels, send down upon our bishops and curates and all congregations committed to their charge the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly appease thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and has promised that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen. The choral evensong came today from St Paul's Cathedral, London. The choir was under the direction of the organist, Dr John Dykes Barr, and the sub-organist was Harry Gapp.